What's going on y'all? Hope you've been living right. Today's video, I am fishing a completely new lake. Subscriber hit me up and told me I needed to go here because the bass fishing here is phenomenal. He was so adamant about it, I went there the very next day. Super early in the morning because I wanted to get ahead or jump start out there because it was July 3rd on Saturday and I sure did not want to get tied up with a bunch of Kyles late in the afternoon at the boat ramp. But before we get into that video, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy these kind of videos or unboxings or reel reviews and rod reviews, equipment reviews, all that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and if you enjoy the video on the, you're about to watch, hit that thumbs up. I got some stuff coming down the pipeline very soon, and I hope y'all enjoy it. But I'm gonna shut up and we are gonna get into the day on the water. Here we go. Here we go. We are out on a lake and there's a crap ton of fry and fish popping over there. So, we didn't go very far. But all the grass ended here. There are muskie in this lake, so hopefully I don't lose a lure to a muskie. Oh yeah, this is deep with a lot of weeds. So these fish aren't gonna be packed up in one spot. They're gonna be spread out. Eight, nine foot. Seems like the deal. Set that there. Let's grab the crush. Ooh, that kind of went wherever. Oh, fish, got him, got him. There we go, tighten that drag up. Look at that, oh, first fish of the day. <laughs> they want cranks, they want cranks. Yes, ha ha ha, first fish of the morning. I think he's about one and a half, almost two pounds. Let's see what we got. 1.8, one and three quarters of a pound. Not bad. Let's get a call tag on him. Let's get him in the box. All right. First fish of the morning. Right there. Yeah. They didn't want nothing with that top water though. Let's go with the flat 75. A little bit bigger of a profile. More erratic. Let's see what happens. Oh. Where I'm finding the fish is about 10 foot. It's got about two foot of weed, so five foot. It's just about perfect. Fish, got him. All right, all right. There we go, there we go. Oh, still, oh, still, oh, still, oh, still. There we go little guy just a little squeaker maybe a pound if he's a pound we'll keep him what do you know 1.1 all right little bugger got him on the crush 75 flat 75 let's get it back in. let's get him in there with his buddy oh what's this dude doing Just, what a Kyle. No, I, you know, I wasn't fishing over here. Thanks, bud. I freaking go where he's fishing and just motor through his fishing area. Freaking Kyle's. So we're gonna go up around this corner. There should be a little flat shelf where we see that little floating thing way over there. And depending on its depth, I think it's gonna depend on what we catch. Let's try the weightless divine swim bait. So right here is a ledge. I'm sitting about 10 foot and it comes up pretty quick. So we're gonna flip this weedless up in there a little shallow or weightless and we're gonna start working it through. Yeah. 
fish. Little guy. Just a little one. On the weightless divine swim bait. Got to thank Justin Royal for that one. Not a monster, but he ties his flukes on weightless, which gave me the idea of doing my divine swim bait weightless. And yeah, it worked. It caught a fish. And I can see some following it. All right. Let's go in here. Let's take this. Run the 4K bluegill. It is a Quake 70. It looks pretty awesome. I mean, look at those colors. Fish. Got him out of the weeds. That's a nicer one, too. There's my third keeper right there. If I can keep him pinned, here he goes. Oh, nice one. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Look at that fat, chunky. Caught him out here in about eight foot of water around some grass. So, on the Quake 70, there we go. Almost two pounds on this lake. Not too bad. Biggest one so far. Get a coal tag on them. Put them in the box. Bass number three in the box. Yeah. Oh, so I don't know if you can see this. See that grass? We are in six to seven foot of water right now, probably eight. And this grass comes up high. And... I pitched on the other side like that and I let it go down a little bit and he was right on that edge and all I did was just tug, let it go down, tug, let it go down. Oh yeah, caught a few. How about y'all? Y'all catch anything yet? Yeah? Well, something's better than nothing, right? Yeah, but we caught, we caught, I caught two fish about, I caught one fish that big. Yeah? He was a bass, I think, and then another two bass. bass that big. Nice. Yesterday, but I might catch something today, too. Oh, well, I hope so. Over there is pretty good. That's where I caught that big one. Yeah? And I also caught a huge busty over there. Nice. Nice. Well, I'll get out of y'all's casting lane. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe. And good luck. Hope you catch some. Nice. Oh, that's a good plan, man. Yeah. Best of luck to y'all. That right there is our future anglers. Glad to see it. They don't have a boat or anything. They're sitting on a little flotation device and casting like crazy. Good for them. I think we can all relate to that. Being a kid and wanting to fish any possible way we could. That's how we all got started. Into this financial disaster we call an awesome time. <laughs> I love it. So worth it. Try this. See if this works. Fish. Oh, sh that was right off the bat. Right on that point. Nice one, too. I think it might be live well worthy. <laughs> yeah. God. Rode the struggle bus on that for a while. I'll stop. There we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, on the struggle bus for a while, but switched it up to the curve 55 and flipped out here at this point and 
he hit it pretty much as soon as it hit the water. So he may be live well worthy today. We'll give him a shot. 1.43 pounds. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's get a cold tag on him. It's fish number four in the well. Nice. Whew. But I guess you can't be too surprised. It's a wind blown point. And no sooner than I cast it up there, boom, he was there. Maybe it was just luck. Who knows? Hey, skill takes a certain amount of luck, right? And luck takes a certain amount of skill. So, ha, I'm just gonna chalk it up to it. Those, these baits are awesome. I cannot argue with these baits. Every single one I've put on, I've caught a fish with. Let's check out the wind blown point here. I wanna spin on it. I want to see how far out it goes and what, what we got going on here. What is going on with this point? Because I feel the weeds. I could have swore that was a fish. That is a fish. That is a fish. That is a nice fish. Oh, yeah. 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 I found them. They're on this point and he choked that thing. Boat flip. <laughs> <laughs> spot lock look how he ate that goodness sakes he wanted it grass and all nice there we go there we go fish number five <laughs> look at there nice little chunker i think he is pushing two pounds 2.05 fish number five so i switched back over to the curve 55 in the blue char zeus and on this point something magical is happening so i'm gonna get call tag on him put him in and now we can start calling those little ones and hopefully i hit that over 15 pound mark today and i take that subscriber told me to come out to this lake to bass fish it bring him out the next time we can get together all right here we are fish number five Yeah, and same thing, same thing as that four, four and a half pounder the other week. Ripping it through the weeds and he ate it. I mean, he literally had the weeds in his mouth that were still attached to the lure. He wanted it that bad. I might concentrate on this lake for a few weeks. I'm not even halfway around this place. All right, I can't find that little batch of weeds I was in. Cast out further then. There we go. Now I'm coming through. Fish. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, he is pulling drag. He fought big. He fought big. Oh, that's probably why I think this dude got just got tagged by a muskie. He did. I have a muskie right here. Look at that. He just got laced open. I wondered why it felt so weird. So, yeah. I'll give you all a better look at this. So, I hooked this bass right here on this point. And look at that. Those markings. He just, when I thought he was big because he was pulling drag, a muskie came up and grabbed him and ran off. I did not see it, but those are fresh and that had to happen just now. So we're going to get him in the live well. We're going to call for the first time. 1.91. Yep, 1.2. So three quarters of a pound call. Not bad. So yeah, here is the call. Nice little upgrade. Nice little upgrade. Let's get this little guy back. Hopefully, Muskie doesn't grab him. There you go, buddy. All right. I think that's going to wrap it up for the day. Let's get these fish pulled out and get them weighed and see if I hit that 15 pound. Don't think I have. I'd be lucky if I hit that 10 pound range. 
Uh, all right, we got them up and we are at about nine pounds, nine and a half, nine point four seven. So it didn't even hit 10 pounds. Let's go ahead and grab them, show them off. Look at that. Beautiful. Clean that off. Go ahead and get them released. There is one. There he goes. Right there. Number two. Beautiful little bass. There he goes. Right here. Just a little guy. I think he was like one and a half pounds. Not very big, but he was a fun catch. There he goes. Ah, here's a nut. Here's one of the nice ones right here. There he is. Dark, just nice and dark. Looks good. About two pounds. Go ahead and throw him back. All right, this is the one that got tagged by the muskie. One of the last fish I pretty much was able, I put in the live world today. I kind of feel bad for him, but I, I think he's gonna make it. So we'll get him back. Mm, poor fella. He'll be all right, look at him. Gone. All right, if you enjoyed that video, please hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. It's a quick recap of the day. I did encounter one Kyle first thing in the morning. Happened. I'm starting to think that that guy did not know what he was doing or where he was going. He was just out there stupidly early in the morning. Or maybe he knew and he just wanted to be a pain in the butt. Met the two youngsters out on that flotation device, <sighs> casting their little hearts out, and boy, talking a storm up as I went by. Then there was the end of the video where I got to that point and I was crushing those bass. The one bass eating it with the weed still attached to the lure and then the muskie grabbing the third one. Oh man, that that was phenomenal. Now I kept fishing for a few hours after that and caught a bunch of little dinkers. And I caught a bunch of dinkers before that too. I gotta say, I've never caught that many bass that for that long of a time. I wanna go back out there and I wanna fish that lake some more, learn some stuff. And I think I will get with that subscriber and pull him out there with me and try to figure out some stuff that he may know that I don't know about that lake and see if we can't find that three pounder that I'm always looking for when I go fishing. Before the video ends, just kind of go over it real quick. <laughs> got my shipment from Six Cents. Put my order in, got some lures, uh, and got a second order right here. Unboxing coming up next in another video, not now. <laughs> Remember, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and stay tuned for the next video to come. I'm gonna end it here, y'all take care, and until next time, y'all keep living right. <laughs>